Yeah, but... Pretty sure this room was just to get the tender boxes. as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclu- What? <laughs> Conclusis. It was as it was t told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. What? It was smooth and jagged? That's interesting. Daniel will say the same thing when he talks about his. It's color washed while rich. Contrast. What? <laughs> Wait, what? He keeps using these. It's oxygen. color washed while rich. Yeah, meaning it was like uh, faded like it's while faded, also but it's still colorful. vibrant. Yeah. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within the stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts that they were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. Fortunately, you jack. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. You're a horrible person. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and, at, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. Uh, the guardian had taken the orb from me, but still on until this day I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. Didn't you just? Isn't that what this is? Yeah. 
The last time we spoke you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. He says, I feel like this vi this building's familiar. <laughs> what is it? I don't know, but it's just from Spider-Man, and he j it's literally the building right outside his window. <laughs> Seals are dying. I thought it was whales. No, I said seals. It's never been whales. Pretty sure if we went back, it was whales. Uh, no. If we went back, it would be seals. Hello? in this game. Ugh, animal experiment. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It's difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic ge genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. You're jackass. Why do all these people suck? I was born to read I was born to read scientific articles. <laughs> Did you just place that on top of him? I think you're just as much of a sick fuck as the rest of these guys. I, I can't look at this. I just... Ugh. Okay. Oh, Be free! It's dead. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no research has been made in my particular interest I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. But clearly, you didn't care, cause you did it anyway. Also, what is this? I don't know, pick it up. Oh, I think it's an apple. It's a potato. Either way, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, no. More potatoes. That's not a potato. Is there something behind them? No. 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 I'm seeing if there's something behind the skull. This isn't an escape room. There's not a hidden key. I didn't. I'm not looking for it. <coughs> first of all, I want another escape room. I was well, in Seattle at like 100 each. What? Mm -hmm.
<laughs> Pay your ticket. I didn't do it. Powers the elevator. Find another way around the rumble. In the, the, the rumble. Close and enough. go back to the wall for a second. You can't just pull that any of that stuff out. No, I no. said I had to find a way around it. Hey, is there something behind that panty? I don't know. Is there? No. No. Is that the kind of shit I'm dealing with? I have to look behind the paintings now. Mm -hmm. You haven't been looking behind the paintings? No. I think you have to go to a different room to get around it. Um, like in, like in the guest area. still have to hear the sound of dying dogs despite the fact that the dogs are no longer in this. Great question. Quick, find that man's journal. Was it Daniel? I couldn't hear it. I don't know. But isn't the diary technically what I've been listening to this whole time? Only when Daniel actually speaks and its so pages so are ripped out. It, the, it said I had three for three. It did. No, I'm just saying, I don't know about that. Oh, not that. Oh, I had three for three for that. I'm gonna have to get the return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second of July, oh, speaking of 1839. Completely separate. <laughs> journal entry. From the Algerian <laughs> governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. Yeah. He was badly injured, as if maimed no. by a lion. The man Nigeria. rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert oh, or his uh, men. You in this Tomorrow, earlier. I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. This is 100% here. Yeah. You're Documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. 
The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? First of all, I'm sure there's more than one. Second of all, uh, what did I just find out here? Daniel? What? Yeah. Still having nightmares, I see. Why are you yes. sleeping into my room? I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. I don't think I'll see. And... That's a wrap, folks. Also, I can't seem to close myself from this. Excuse me. Whatever. Even if there is something in these drawers, it's going to roll to the bottom. <laughs> It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. It's all too strange, man. Appreciate you better find a place to hide. Thank you. 
accurate. Have you actually seen one of them yet? No. I want to live. But it just opened the door for me. All the doors in here. just to get you to hide for a bit. Did you check all the drawers in there? I checked all the drawers everywhere. In the room you were just in? Yeah. Oh, you're looking for something. No, I guess not. For a key. <sighs> An important key is hidden. Well, where is it then? Because it wasn't in any of these drawers. Disappear. I found it. I didn't realize I had to go in the machine room. You have to to fix the elevator. Oh, of course. I was just going and literally anywhere else we can go first. <laughs> See what it was. A drill. Hi. He 
was outside the door. Went that way. No, I can see him. It's the, literally the one I showed you. Oh, it's the same one? parts first. Then why would it kill us? Hey, eventually when we find all the parts, this is what you're doing. explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and they're ready to go. Agrippa. What's up the I was demonstrating to myself where the liquids were. So, bonjour. Okay, you stay up there. No, oh, but I need you to work. That was worth a try.
just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Madam. Good job. Stop crying while I'm... Something I need to explode, of course. Excuse me for one moment. <laughs> 